Out on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, there's a beautiful diamond chain of islands that runs along the coast. There's one called Ocracoke, the black beard died out there. Lots of romance and history out there. And uh, the Spanish always brought horses with them. Even Columbus had 30 some odd horses with him, which is amazing to think about coming across the ocean at that time when they didn't know what was on the other side and bringing horses with them too. But they did, and as they made their way up the east coast, they ran into the Outer Banks there, an area that's now known as the Graveyard of the Atlantic, which wasn't written on the map at the time. So they'd end up stuck on a sandbar in one of these constantly moving channels, and they'd uh, jettison horses to lighten the ship. Sometimes they'd just be shipwrecked. And uh, these horses swam ashore and they learned how to eat salt grass and how to dig these big pits in the ground. They big pits in the sand, in the, uh, sand uh, six, eight feet deep with their hooves. And they create these pools of fresh water. And uh, that's how they stay out there. And they've been out there for 400 years now. And this song is not really about the wild ponies, but certainly inspired uh, by them takes place in a little town called Beaufort on the Intracoastal Waterway in a place called the Dock House. She had legs like daggers and eyes like oceans and her heart locked up in a hard combination and I took her to the island See the wild ponies. See, I had a friend who had a concrete boat. It don't take as much as you might think to float. And he lived out on the island with the wild. Swimming to free. 
freedom like a wild pony. I wish you well.